What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. I am looking at a bunch of emails. For some reason, everybody thinks that I should comment on this, which I don't want to. So I'm not going to. I don't really care. Here, I'm going to leave that open. Competing. I'm going to go into competing and when it's okay to not compete. You know, that, that's going to be what I go into right here. And if you don't like it, you don't like it. Here's the deal. I have competed a few times. You know, I've competed at the Arnold. I've competed at some national level shows. And uh, I've done okay. You know, I've done my thing. I've also retired every friggin' year. I've claimed I'm done competing. I've also backed out of shows I was supposed to do because of personal issues. Um, last year, for example, the show I did was actually after only six weeks of dieting because I had something come up in that eight-week-later phase my show was supposed to be, which was 14 weeks from when I decided to do the show, six weeks from when I, was, when I started dieting, which was not a long enough diet, because something came up, something family-related. Now, competing is not everything. Competing, in my opinion, I don't understand. See, I do it, and I've been honest about this all along, for... Uh, Mainly to promote my brands. Absolutely. is to practice what I preach. And I refuse to tell people how to do something when I don't do it myself. That's kind of why I compete. If I didn't own a supplement company. If I didn't participate in the fitness community. Um, if this wasn't my... Uh, if this wasn't my what I do for a living, there's no way you'd ever catch me on tight, in tights on a stage dancing to hip-hop music. It's just not what I would do. I do this because it's my livelihood. It's what I do. And I've learned to love it. I love training. I love dieting, believe it or not. I love the commitment involved. But there is no way in Hades, in hell, that I would do this if there wasn't a business reason for it. Now, we all know what I'm alluding to. Chris Jones versus Ogus. And I'm not going to put this in the title, but let's be real here. Y'all are going to know what I'm referring to. Chris Jones is a great guy. He's a friend of mine. I don't care if he falls off and never lifts again. He's a friend. I'm loyal to my friends. Ogus is a friend of mine. I've never been with Ogus in person. We've never hung out. After Chris and I spent some time together, became friends, that friendship is there. I'm always going to have Chris's back. That's just how I am. That's where I'm from. I'm not going to sell Chris out. I'm not going to call him a quitter because he's not. What he's doing is he's making a life choice. He chose right now to do something else rather than competing. Focus on training his clients, which I think he said in his last video. Focus on bettering his life, building his YouTube channel, building his content. Um, and that's great. I applaud him for that. And also, we don't know what's going on in his private life. Why? It's none of our damn business. Okay, I've almost wrecked my marriage due to competing because I didn't know when to call it quits and when to say when. Now, I've competed a while, so now my wife is fine because I don't act different when I'm dieting. I don't change my schedule. I do the same amount of cardio and training. All I change is what I eat for the most part. I might do an extra 30 minutes of cardio a day. But let's be real here, dude. I mean, the guy, Chris is his first show, and, you know, to the to the benefit of you haters, I do admit, he called Ogus out, which I initially thought that's crazy because Matt Ogus is, he's competed before and he's reached those obscene levels of body fat, and you guys have seen Ogus, and people call him cocky and arrogant. Ogus is a nice guy, and I'll tell you what, Chris Lovato's a nice guy. I know those guys on a personal level. They're good dudes, you know? Um, you guys got to just, uh, confidence, you guys got to stop mistaking confidence and... Um, their demeanor for cockiness, or as Lovato was called, a douchebag. They're not. And anyway, douchebag should be a good word. Anything that keeps the vagina clean, I'm good. I'm good with it. If you can cleanse a vagina, I'm good. So, Lovato, you are a douchebag. You clean vaginas. And anything that makes a vagina clean is a friend of mine. So, guys... I mean, a lot of people commenting on this have never competed in their life. A lot of people have. And let me go into why both of you could be a bit off on this. The people who have competed just because you did it doesn't mean you have the right to go in and say someone else needs to compete or they're not a man or they're less of a man. I understand there was the call out, but let's let, we don't have the whole story and we never will because Chris is doing Chris. All right? 
and uh, the people who have never competed, I want you to talk to my buddy Van Yarbrough, Bro Fitness, Van Bra, because no one can pronounce his fucking last name. Van Bra is 19, 18 days out, and I'll tell you what, I've seen him go through some ups and some downs, and his energy gone up, down, on low carb days, he's fucked up or he's good, and he understands now the sacrifice it takes to compete and get to that level. And if Chris does not feel that he has it right here or right here, not his pectoral, but his heart. Oh, make my heart beat, baby. Oh, yeah. Okay, check it out. If he doesn't feel it's there, he's not going to bring it. So even though he called Matt out, you know what? Matt has all the right to talk shit because the call-out's been answered. Because even if Matt comes in dead last, he still did the show and Chris didn't. That's fine. That's fine. And I hate to, I really didn't want to do this video, but it's been called for a lot. I told Van this morning, I don't want anything to do with this shit. It's just going to get me in trouble. It's gonna, I'm, I'm going to be called someone who's just trying to get views and hop on the bandwagon. That's why I'm not even going to title this shit anything to do with Chris or Matt. All I know is, Chris, I got your back. I have your back on this because I understand you guys who have competed, and you guys who haven't competed, you don't know the whole story. Everybody's affected differently by competing. And it might not be his priority in life right now. Ogus, I always got your back. And you have every right to gloat. Go ahead. You know, do a dance. In fact, write Chris Jones on your posing trunks when you do your show. That'd be awesome, wouldn't it? Like, get it like, anyway. Get it, here's the I, I got both their backs. So, guys, I have no opinion on it. I support both of them. And I had Chris's back whether he was doing the show or whether he wasn't doing the show. And Chris is still someone to listen to. He's someone who gives good advice. He's entertaining. And I'll tell you what, I've seen him in person. He has a damn good physique. And when he does decide to step on stage, and I've said this before, and I'll say it again, when he gets it up here and right here to step on stage, there'll be very few natties in the pro level who can deal with his size and his muscle bellies, and his shape when he's dieted down, because I saw him when he was leaner. So, uh, that's all I'm going to say about it, unless I get a ton of email. Then I'll respond. I'll respond because this channel is for you guys, but at the end of the day, man, I, I got no side. It's a boring video. You're probably wishing you never watched it. And I look forward to you haters commenting in the section. And if you say anything mean, racist, rude in the comments section about Matt, which I've seen Chris's page, I've seen racist comments against Matt, I've seen racist comments against Jones, put that shit in my comments section, I'm blocking you immediately. There's going to be no deleting, there's just going to be blocking. It's not acceptable, guys. These are my friends, alright? That's it. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to end it with competing is not a game!